I wish Republicans were as opposed to like fascist insurrectionists within their own party as the Democratic Party is to like mild social democracy. You know what I mean? Like the 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 DNC will will slam the the red button when like Bernie is running in the primaries. Like the you know we, like we can't have these guys with the commies in our party. And Republicans will just not give a fuck because of course I mean of course they agree right you know but that's why you can't just go after Trump like the problem is fundamentally the Republican Party they should it just shouldn't exist we should should not have a Republican Party you know there's no value whatsoever it's right like right now it's literally like a choice between the sometimes good sometimes bad option like the Dems you know like eh, you know like they're not they're not good but you know whatever like they you know you have like competent morally neutral, sometimes progressive governance, and then you just have the evil option. You know what I mean? Voting in America is like um, is like uh, uh, playing an RPG with a bad moral choice system, where you have quests where the kid will run up and be like, can you get the kitten out of the tree? And the two answers are like, yeah, sure. And the other one's like, you light the tree on fire. It's, 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 you just, you just, it's just a stupid evil, you know? How do you think January 6th would have gone if Trump had been allowed to be on the hill with the rioters? Um, that's really difficult to say. I don't know. It's possible that things would have ended sooner because Trump being there, like he, he might've been spooked by the actual threat of violence and he might've kind of pulled, pulled back. But I think it kind of, it would have been like an Immortan Joe moment a bit in fear, like in Fury Road, where all the rioters would have just gone fucking insane because their God King was there to witness them. So yeah, I don't really know. They would have been slamming themselves against the walls, the fucking... Capitol building. Yeah, that Ashley bitch gets shot. Mediocre. Or oh, sorry, wait, it would have to be in his voice. Mediocre. Um, and then like more people jump up to replace her. Would the Secret Service aid the rioters? Um, probably not, no. The Secret the Secret Service, if if Trump was there with the rioters, the Secret Service would be clearing space for him and desperately trying to move him out of there. Um, even if they allowed him to get there, as soon as the violence started, they probably would have forcibly es escorted him away. I'm pretty sure the Secret Service, like, if they want to, they'll literally just, like, they'll just, like, firemen carry the president out of somewhere. Like, I don't think they could, like, their job is to keep the president safe, bar none, no matter what. Like, the president doesn't get to tell them to not do that. Um, they'll do anything to keep them safe. So the, the, the Secret Service would have had to have been, like, collaborators in order for that to have even happened, really. Uh, which isn't impossible, but isn't what happened here. Yeah, they can black bag him if they need to, yeah. I guess the best way of putting it is that the Secret Service, um, the Secret Service serves the president, but it's not always their job to listen to the president. It's kind of like a butler or a servant and like a young master of a manor or something like that, if that makes any sense. Like, it's the job of the butler to listen to the young master of the manor or like a young noble or something, but... If the young nobles like, you know, I want to jump out the window, like the, they're, they're not going to listen. Like they, you know, they're, uh, they're just going to grab him and drag him back in. You know, there are limits to the, um, to the degree of autonomy. Yeah, they serve the office of the president, not the person of the president. Um, what you're about to see is previously unseen footage of congressional oh. leaders, both Republicans and Democrats, as they were taken to a secure location during the riot. You'll see how everyone involved was working actively to stop the violence, to get federal law enforcement deployed to the scene, to put down the violence and secure the Capitol complex. Not just Democrats like Speaker Nancy Pelosi and House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, but Republicans like Vice President Pence, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Majority Whip John Thune, and countless other appointees across the administration. All of them did what President Trump was not doing, what he simply refused to do. Take a listen. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It does not, ugh, God, it's so fucking frustrating. It doesn't matter. Anything short of like, okay, if somebody's committing a crime and people have been collaborators to that crime up until the very end, and then at the very end, the only reason they're no longer collaborating is because they think it's gone too far, and then they don't work to see the crime punished, they're still collaborators. They're just, they just backed out at the last second because they no longer thought that it would work. Like, you don't, you don't get out of having committed a crime because at the, at the very end, you're like, oh, wait, this probably won't work. Um, oh, no, calm it down. Calm it down with the, the coup. Calm it down with the insurrection attempt. Like, well, it's, it's fine, you know. We'll, we'll get them next time. Um, that doesn't, that just means they'll do it next time. Yeah, it's, it's literally like a, um... A bank robbery going wrong and the uh, getaway, yeah, the getaway car, like driving off 
because they're like, oh shit, this is going tits up. I don't want to be here when the cops arrive. Thank you, Sigidi Elegy. I think that's a good example or a good comparison. Yeah. It's like you, 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 you backed out because you, you didn't like how it was going, but you were still a collaborator up until that point. You're still culpable. It is so telling that the first response of the, of the, like the archetypal liberal here would be to maintain the status quo in a situation like this. Not like opposing fascism or like reading the government of insurrectionist collaborators or anything like that. It's about like, we have to make sure that the people still believe in the institutions, in the system, that things still appear civil and functional, that the bureaucracy still works. I'm going to call up the effing secretary of DOD. It's okay, man. Your numbers won't go down if you swear in this situation. I'm just saying. This is, uh, this is one heckin' bad situationino, huh, Pelosi? It's still insane to me that in a situation like this, there isn't just, like, a big red button that somebody in, in, in the panic room can push that just, like, summons 5,000 soldiers. I, I, it's just, like... I... I is there not a panic room? Like, a real one? They're in, like, a little auditorium. What, like... <laughs> Look, there's a window there. That's not a panic room. Like, look at this. Thank you. Yeah, there should be like a terracotta army in the basement of the Capitol building. There should there should just be like five thousand Revolutionary War soldiers entombed in stone, uh, that like awaken at the blow of a horn. The panic room just has one of those like gigantic horns that like goes through several floors of, of ceiling and then like deafens everyone within a quarter mile radius from the top of the Capitol building, and five thousand like muskets click into um uh, uh uh into action. And where the fuck is the where the fuck is the 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 Capitol building court wizard? Statue of Liberty draws her sword. Well, that's outside New York, not DC, but still. This is the footage that we're going to see, like, days after the fascists win. Or this is going to be, like, the live stream, as, like, 2024 rolls around, and this time they bring five times as many people, and they just, like, gun down the Capitol Police and march in. We're gonna see a live stream of Pelosi being like, they can't do that, this is illegal. Um, and then the feed will cut, and we'll all be under the, uh, the new empire. Pardon me. I know this is probably true, but it looks staged. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if at least part of this is staged. I mean, these are all politicians. They know that it's a crisis situation. They know they're being filmed. You, you know, in all likelihood, their behavior is being inf- So wait, when I say staged, what I mean is they're at least in part acting for the benefit of the fact that they're being recorded, but like not staged in the sense that like this was all planned and this was like their planned like panic response or whatever, to, to be clear. More, more like their, their, you know, their behavior is being influenced there. Uh, sorry, performative. That's the better term. Performative, not staged. Nobody wants to get caught by a crowd of rioting insurrectionists, like, no matter whether you're on their side or not. But, like, um, the Republicans that weren't openly supporting Trump at that point, like McConnell, um, probably would have been torn apart. If you're, like, a QAnoner, like Boebert, um, or MTG, then you probably would have been fine. I'm literally standing with uh, the police of uh, the U.S. Capitol Police. He just informed me what you will hear through... To, to a fascist, this entire video is like the political equivalent of, like, showing your neck. This all looks like red meat, doesn't it? Like, this is the strength of the liberal establishment, you know? They just look like a bunch of fucking goofy, like, PTA parents hobbling around in a little auditorium. Y yeah, I don't know. At least for me personally, this does not inspire much confidence in the idea that liberals will be able to adequately defend our country against um, anti-democratic insurrectionists. It, it's genuinely insane how much of a parallel there is between this situation and the uh, the um, the appointment of Hitler as chancellor, right? With President Hindenburg in the uh, conservative cabinet, you know, sort of lacking the populist credentials that Hitler offered, thinking that um, that if Hitler achieved power, that he would kind of like moderate out a little bit, and there would be a coalition government between the um, the populist and popular fascists and the pre-existing like ultra wealthy conservative government but then in reality no hitler did hitler things you know yeah what, what, what we're basically seeing right here is like a failed start right like this is this is the appointment like failing to happen if the original republican party with the more like um quote unquote moderate types are like the the hindenburg appointment and trump is like the hitler candidate you know like, he has the populist credentials. If he achieves power, we'll have, like, the synthesis of our institutional power and his populist power. It didn't happen here, but, like, you know.
I... Also, at this point, like, even back then, a saying that you were stunned by the violence is, like, a huge mark against your intelligence and char uh, character. Trump had said, like, a trillion times beforehand, like, this is a fake stolen election, it's not real, um, the, the republic is falling, I must win, blah, blah, blah. Like, obviously, what do you think happens in situations like this, you know? I don't like the framing of January 6th, as though it was this, like, unpredictable, you know, like, radical... This... Th th coups happen. I guess this is a component of American exceptionalism as well. This, um, this, like, uh, ridiculous belief that it can't happen here. Yeah. Remember when President Lincoln, um, kicked all of the, um, Confederates out of Congress? That was dope. I remember that. Hell yeah. Oh, who's that? Is that a guy who should do the same thing? Oh, man. Well, the Empire's lasted a long time. Eleven senators and three representatives were expelled from Congress for supporting the insurrection and refusing to recognize Abraham Lincoln's electoral win. Reads a meme with over 2,000 shares. Post was deleted after USA Today. Reached out for comment. Blah, blah, blah. That's the claim. The history of House and Senate explosions. It wasn't for failing to recognize. That's the meme they're fact-checking here. Fourteen expelled. Engaged in a conspiracy against the peace and union of the United States government. Is the only reason that didn't happen this time is because there hasn't been a civil war yet? Well, the Confederates never laid an attack on the Capitol building. Like, I genuinely believe that there was more than enough um, legal reason to just, like, expel a fuck ton of Republican representatives right off the bat. Like, we have these people take oaths of office. They should have to take oaths of, um, oaths of recognition of the presidency. Like, it, like you can't... If, if they're continuing to uphold the lie... That Donald Trump actually won the election, then they are complicit in the conspiracy. That's the way modern media works. I mean, Thana, the the Dems can do whatever they want. Like at the at the end of the day, Biden doesn't have the power to do that. The FBI and Secret Service won't comply. I I'm st I reject this. The if you're the president, you can do literally whatever you want. We're on the cusp of losing our fucking democracy. The conservative Supreme Court is probably going to be verifying the independent state legislator doctrine. Um, and giving all the red states the power to just, like, not let Democrats ever win again. We're through the looking glass here. Like, if, it, it, you know, desperate times and all that. Like, we're beyond the point of, like, well, what's the proceduralist, like, move forward, you know? The libs would call it, the libs can call it whatever they want. Yeah, it's like all or nothing, right? Like, what, what outcome is worse than the fascist winning?